everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do just like a little get to know me, just some facts about me, I don't know. Um, I saw that this tag was like 50 facts and I, I don't have 50 facts about me. So I just have a couple, just a couple to share. So let's jump into it. Oh, and I'm so sorry about the background. We're gonna have to like work out something. We just moved recently and uh, you guys know, I'm just lazy. I didn't put anything together. So the more my YouTube grows, the more that my backdrops will grow and we'll get, I'll get my groove in, you know. Oh gosh, the first one. Oh, this is a tough one for me. This is me being very vulnerable, okay? I do not know my rights from my lefts. But I do, like I, you know, obviously, yes, I know this is my right hand, this is my left hand. But for some reason when I, and it's really bad when I'm driving in the car, I would be like, oh, go ahead and turn left up here. And I'm pointing to the right. And like, vice versa. I can't get it right to save my life. I just, I have no idea. I don't know. Heavens. Okay, so, look how cute my pants are. Ooh, I love that. I love good clothes. Okay, sorry. I don't know where I left off. What was I talking about? Oh my right to my left. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. So if you ever ask me for directions, oh, the bathroom's on the left. Like it's always probably on the right. Um, I sucked my thumb until I was eight years old. <laughs> I know, I didn't do it all the time. Like I wouldn't do it. <sighs> I've never, hold on. Okay, the phone has now been silenced because that's, that's never happened. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I used to suck my thumb until I was eight years old. I didn't do it during the day, like I wouldn't do it at school. Um, I would just like twirl my hair at night and like suck my thumb and help me go to sleep. Ugh. I don't know when I got over it. One day I just didn't suck my thumb anymore. Um, or like I would have to put like my mom would put like nail polish remover on my thumb or like I don't and I just always found a way. I loved it. And my teeth, yes, for those of you who are wondering, my teeth paid the price. But they're, I'm happy with them today. Like, they look, there was a lot of work, but they look good. Um, I'm the middle child. Um, I have an older sister and then two younger ones. And all my sisters are blonde hair, blue eyes, and I'm green eyes, and I have naturally dark hair. Um, this was another thing I had to work really hard at to be like my sisters. But yeah, so I'm kind of the, uh, the odd one out, but not anymore. So yeah, and I like being the middle child. I think it gets sometimes, not a bad rap, but yeah, I like it. Um, I went to six elementary schools growing up, um, which sounds crazy, but I really, I really didn't have a hard time with it. I, we moved around a lot, but I always had, I was always really thankful. I always had really good friends. Um, I'm still friends with the people that I met during that time, so yeah. It was kind of hard. All my teachers always found, once they found out my last name was Newby, like they always made a joke. It was always the same joke, so I don't know. It wasn't bad. I got over it. My family nickname um, is Boo. I've always been called Boo my whole life. I don't know where it came from or why they chose me to be Boo, but yeah, I've always been Boo. It'll stick forever, I'm sure. Um, I'm not really sure if I'll pass it down to my kids one day or my kid. Cause it's a, you know, I, I wore it proud. Like I like being called boo, but how do you pick? I don't want my first, I don't know. I don't know how nicknames work with kids. Maybe I'll just have it and I'll know that that one's supposed to be called boo. But other than that, that's my nickname. <laughs> I have the worst, this is my bad habit. And I didn't know it was a bad habit till probably two years ago when someone pointed it out to me that I was doing it a lot. Um, I have this thing, I have to throw my gum on the ground. And for some reason I'm always throwing it when we're walking so that people will walk into it because I'll just throw it over to them or this way. I don't know why I do it, but, and another thing is like I have to have gum. Like I'm obsessed with chewing gum. In my last couple videos you probably saw that cuteness of me chewing gum, but today I'm not. Okay, I want it to be nice for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm always chewing gum and I always throw it out the window. I'll throw it out the window when I'm in the car. I'll throw it on the ground. If there's a trash can right there, I'll throw it next to the trash can. I'm just the worst person and I don't know how to fix it. And I'll probably, 
probably never fix it. Oops. I am severely lactose intolerant. Not severely, that's a little dramatic, but I'm very lactose intolerant. Um, and I'm obsessed with dairy and cheese, and that's my main food group. That's what, sometimes I'll just eat a handful of cheese for lunch like it's i'm set and i always like oh i always regret it but i don't know i i never really maybe because i just don't want to try them but i don't like the alternatives i don't like the fake stuff i'd rather just like have the stomach ache for like an hour later so i can have that piece of cheese i put it on everything i'm just so passionate about it i love it so <laughs> oh, i love it this next one is just a peek into my poor little like cuckoo brain but coffee makes me cry without a doubt it doesn't matter if i have like a little sip a whole cup and it just ha it just started up this year so pretty recently but i don't know i don't know if someone can help me like tell me what's up but like it makes me want to like rip out my arms and my limbs like i can just feel it like it's like over my body's like overcome with like so much caffeine and i just want to like oh i hate it i hate it i hate it i don't know does anyone else have that like it's the weirdest and, and people like my mom's like just get decaf but i don't trust them i feel like it'll be a busy morning cups will be flipped and if i get a caffeine one when i'm supposed to get a decaf and my day is ruined it's i'll cry i always cry when i drink coffee i hate it so yeah, someone tell me cheese that doesn't make my tummy hurt, coffee that doesn't make me cry. Oh, I'm also super indecisive. I don't know how I have friends because I'm the worst person to go to eat with. I'm the worst person to hang out with because I will not pick. I will not help you decide. I, it makes me so uncomfortable. I can't even decide sometimes for myself. Like I'll be running up and down Target. Like, do I want that shirt? Should I get that shirt? No, I'll just get a lip gloss. No, I don't want that. Like I just, I love buying things and I love shopping and but I can't, it like, I can't make a decision and it makes me nervous when I have to decide where we're gonna eat because that sets the whole mood. I don't want you to not have a good meal. Then I won't have a good meal because I'm stressing that you're not having a, I just, I don't know how to do it. I don't know. So yeah, um, I eat my, I eat my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with Cheetos, like stuffed in. Like my favorite is um, a Crestables with like crunchy Cheetos. Oh my God, it's so good. And I'm not one to, like, I don't really like to eat my, just, like, turkeys that were, like, sandwiches with, like, chips stuffed in. I'm not one to do that, but I don't know. It's, like, the peanut butter and the jelly and the artificial cheese. Like, ugh, I just, I'm obsessed with it. It's super good. Mm. Oh, this is kind of a fun memory. So, I, like, I only grew up with sisters. Like, I didn't have any brothers. So, I'm not that that makes a difference, but I don't know if guys, like, would play pretend but me and my sister used to do this when we were little in our backyard we had this big backyard well, it's probably not i've seen it now it's not that big but when we were little it used to be big and we had sprinklers you know around in our backyard and we would like pretend that we were in a food fight i don't know why like that was our favorite game like when the sprinkler would hit us like it'd be like mashed potatoes or we would like pretend we were in the cafeteria at school and and this was like before i don't know i don't know where we got this idea Cause this was before like High School Musical, you know, when she like drops the cheese fries on her and like, is that the same? Yeah, I don't know. But we would always be in a food fight. Like it was just fun. I don't know. I want, I'm always interested to know like what people would play when they were younger. Cause a food fight, oh, that was always the most fun ever. Um, I used to stutter when I was a kid, and still affects me today. Not like. I don't know I guess not really stuttering anymore sometimes like I just it's like I'm talking but my mouth's going so fast my brain like can't catch up or nothing's connecting so I'll just be like looking at you like in fear like because I can't get the words out or they'll come in like a weird jumble of like I don't know I don't know um so yeah I used to stutter and suck my thumb and I was I was a wreck I was a wreck of a kid but I, I grew out of the thumb sucking the stuttering we're still working on. <laughs>
this one's also kind of weird but you know when sims like i still wish i had like all those sims games because on the like i've people have told me about it on your phone but it's not as fun but we used to play sims when i was in elementary school and i was obsessed with it like we used to be obsessed um but i'm like the scaredest person like i never want to get in trouble i never like I'm just a petrified of being in trouble and so but I always wanted my sims to like be pregnant and like have kids like that's all I wanted to do when I played sims was but I didn't want them to like do the naughty you know what I'm saying so I'd make my friend hi Adrian <laughs> I would make my friend like make them have a baby like I would we had um our computer like in our computer room in our house and I would go outside and stand outside of the door and like wait for my mom like make sure she and if you guys have met my mom like i would not get in trouble like she's not like you know but i was so afraid that my mom was gonna find out that i was making my sims like i don't know why i keep doing this but you know like have the baby so yeah adrian i would always be like adrian like i want to have a baby tonight will you make them do that like i would always make her make my babies and i'm forever grateful for her because I loved it. I loved having kids and sims. It's so fun. Um, I would much rather have salty over sweet for anything for breakfast. I guess for, I don't want to say for dinner, but I don't know. Breakfast for dinner? That's a thing. Yeah, I would much rather have salty over sweet. Like, you know, when you go to dinner and everyone's nervous, what are we gonna have for dessert? Or what's after this? Like, I'm just like, give me a string cheese and I'm set. Um, I have to, have to sleep with the TV on. Like if I, uh, if I go to sleepovers and we don't have a TV or if I know like this person does not like to sleep with the TV, I just get like the worst tummy ache and it makes me so nervous. So I love to sleep with the TV. I've done it my whole life. Um, it's always Gilmore Girls. I've always fallen asleep to Gilmore Girls. I love it. It gives me the best dreams. Like it's just so cozy to fall asleep to like a nice family, you know? Um, I also love, <laughs> love to eat in bed. Um, some people like that's gross, but I don't think it's gross. Probably because I do it, but it's not like I'm like wiping my hands with my sheets. Like I just want to be comfy, laying down, eating a sandwich, eating spaghetti, my cereal, it's like everything tastes better when I'm laying down in bed or like I just want to be falling asleep like snacking on a pop tart, you know? Oh, this kind of goes back to moving around a lot, going to like six elementary schools. I never learned how to write in cursive. And when I lived in California, like in fourth grade, that was the time where everyone kind of was learning how, like for me, that's when everyone was learning how to write cursive and their assignments would be in cursive. But when I lived in California, when I was coming to move here to Utah, in California, we were just starting to learn. We hadn't, you know, we were about to start. And in Utah, when I got here, they had already learned. <sighs> and I was freaking screwed. And I, it was like the biggest insecurity. I couldn't write cursive. Like, I can barely even sign my signature. It looks, it doesn't look like my name. It's just like a wave. Oh, I also have this thing. I'm like the weirdest thing. I have this like... And I used to get called out on it a lot by my family. But every time I go to a restaurant, I have to go to the bathroom. Like I don't even use the bathroom, I just go into the bathroom. It's like I have to, I won't eat and I won't know that I'm gonna have a good experience unless I check out the bathroom. I don't know what it is. It's like I have to go. I have to always go to the bathroom. <sighs> this one, I am the freaking best at texting back which is a good quality i think to have you know i'm very punctual i'm gonna text you back you need an answer from me here you go i'll get it to you i don't know why i'm snapping so much <laughs> but it's also like annoying because it's not like even if i don't want to text you back that sounds mean but if i don't want to text you back i still will text you back because i can't have that notification just like there, or I can't read the text and not text back because it's like, I already know what I want to say. Like, dang it, like now I have this thought in my head all day that I'm not going to tell that person, yes, I'll meet you at five or whatever, I don't know. And like, I don't know, I feel like when we were, oh, my legs are so asleep. Oh my, I got to hurry this up. Um, you know, like when you like, like a boy and there's like a rule, like if he texts you back, you have to like double that time and then text him back. 
I'm like the most uncool human. Like I have to text him back. I don't know, it's so annoying. Maybe it's not annoying, but to me, it's like annoying because I can't live my life with an unread text. I have to respond. I don't know. So yeah, I'm very good at it. So if you ever text me, Unless I'm driving. If I'm driving or like my phone's not with me, obviously I'm not gonna. It's just I can't, like if I don't see it, then it's fine. But if I see that you texted me, it's gonna bother me all day that I haven't texted you back. <laughs> and if there's someone like I don't wanna text, I will have to like put them on do not disturb so I don't see that they're texting me. I'm like a cuckoo and I'm super cuckoo. <laughs> Those are all my legs are sleep. Those are all of the facts. They're kind of, I don't know if this was supposed to be like a get to know me, like the cool Carly, because I don't know where she is. Anyway, I hope that this was something that you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. Um, I would love it, but you don't have to. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!